I got a lot. Of, I got five children, which a lot of kids have. Uh, here's a news flash. A lot of you know this already. Uh, if you're gonna have children, five, too many, just too many. <laughs> Don't believe the ad campaign. Collect them all. A bunch of bullshit. <laughs> How about a little truth in advertising there, huh? It's just, just they all want to eat. It's very expensive. And watch what you say to your children, if you have children, by the way. If you have children, be careful. Don't, don't put your children under pressure. Don't say things like, do your homework. You do your homework. Never say that, because they will. And that'll lead to college, and it's so goddamn expensive. <laughs> Just gotta be careful, you know? Choose your words. <laughs> Is that the best you can do with the we, you little faggot? <laughs> I'm on level nine over here. How about playing some beer pong with daddy, huh? <laughs> You're never gonna get laid, Mr. Mathematician. <laughs> you gotta be careful what you say. And, and, and listen, okay, just know this, all right? They, children, great as they are, freeloaders. <laughs> Every meal is on you. I got a six-year-old kid, never once. Hey, let me pay for that, Pop. I, okay, let me tell you, you wanna teach your kids the value of money? This is what you do. You throw a big party at the Chuck E. Cheese, you can invite all your relatives, and you just let it ride, man, whatever. More pizza, yeah, then pizza. More video games, get the whole nine yards. Then, then when you get all those envelopes right in front of your kids, just start ripping them open and paying for Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> you like that video game? Yeah, with 20 bucks from grandma, that's going right to the kitty there. <laughs> never have five and never have one. One is a very dangerous number to have because everybody knows that every family has at least one messed up kid and if you only have one, that's your fault right there. <laughs> Kids are like pancakes, everybody. You're gonna burn the first couple. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I spread them out. I, I have a lot of children. I, got a, I have a 24-year-old kid. I have a 24. I have a 23. I have a 20. I talk about them like they're cars. <laughs> I got a nine-year-old. I got a six-year-old. Yeah, that's the right, re thank you, thank you, yes. That's the right reaction, a little awe and wonder. Because I have been getting laid for decades. It's a curse right here, son, you can't turn this off. It's 24 seven. <laughs> the magic is nonstop. <laughs> I talk a lot about my kids, have, if you can do it, seriously, if you can do it, do yourself a favor, have, have boys. Yeah, yeah, don't, oh, have boys, yes, thank you. I, 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 girls are too much drama, it just, it really is a lot of drama, it's just, you gotta have boys. Treat your child rearing like you're China. <laughs> One girl per family and that's it. Just, uh, I know what I'm talking about, I've got four girls and one boy, I've done the research, my, my boy is a drama free child, that's a good, it's easy stuff, you know, it's just, Last year he broke his leg, it was no big deal. People talked to him, hey man, what happened to your leg? Huh? <laughs> your leg, it's in a cast, what happened to it? Oh yeah, I broke it. <laughs> How'd you break it? I don't know, just snapped. <laughs> I have a 20 year old daughter. Every conversation starts the exact same way. You're never gonna believe what happened today. <laughs> You're never gonna believe this. I'm gonna tell you, and I bought a slide presentation to prove it, but you still won't believe it. You know why? Because this, this is unbelievable. And in my head, I'm always like, I bet I believe it perfectly fine. I bet there's some pretty mundane bullshit you're about to torture me with. <laughs> Get, sweetheart, tell me what happened. Well, Bobby called my friend Susie. Well, Susie was with Tommy. Can you believe it? As a matter of fact, I can. Because your friend Susie is a whore. <laughs> And I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> just, it's brutal. It, it, it just, I, I love my daughters, I really do, but you gotta, you gotta treat your daughters differently. <laughs> you gotta treat them like the stock market, you know what I mean? When you first get them, take a lot of pictures. You know what I mean? From like zero to three years old, that stock is going up. Get that stock peaks right around 11. Then you sell. <laughs> Sell high, because at 13, there's no resale value. Okay, it's like owning Lucent stock. I'm rich, oh shit. Just 
you got to get out early, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's, girls go through a time period. That's the problem. You see, boys, boys and girls are different in this fine way. With a girl, you need a lot of money for a psychologist and gynecologist and dermatologist and you need all the gist money. If there's an <laughs> if there's an occupation with the word gist at the end, you need money for that. And boys, you just need a good, healthy legal defense fund. <laughs> so you put your money right there. Girls are just they let you know, man. They just they really do. You find out right away. It's just the way it is. I, I, my, my oldest this girl, and when she was just 12, it was just her and I having a little breakfast at the breakfast table, just having a little father-daughter moment. We, and and I, I wasn't bothering anybody. For no reason, she looks at me, she goes, oh, by the way, I had my first period. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to have my Fruit Loops over here. <laughs> she wanted advice, I had no idea. I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, walk it off. <laughs> Why can't you be more like your brother? <laughs> and, and, and I know I talk about my wife talking. I, you don't even know what talking is until you have a 20-year-old. A 20-year-old daughter just... Uh, my 20-year-old just makes my wife look like a mute. It's just... <laughs> it, it really is. It's, it's like being waterboarded. I... I I have confessed to terror plots in, in the middle of a conversation. I've just dialed the FBI. Yeah, hang on, sweetheart. Just keep that thought. Yeah, come get me, please. I did that shit. <laughs> this, is how much my, this is how much she talked. I'm not making this up. I drove her home from college. It's a one and a half hour drive. In that one and a half hours, she talked for two and a half hours. <laughs> and it's all about her. There's never another subject matter. It's just stuff she wants to do, shit she's going to buy, stuff she's not going to buy, stuff she sold on eBay, friends she doesn't have anymore, people she doesn't like anymore. There's never a, hey, dad, how are you doing moment. I never, never happens. I could be in a room with my 20-year-old daughter. If I burst into flames, she'd go, oh, my God, I'm so hot in here. I can't believe how hot I am. Where's all that smoke coming from? It's burning my eyes. 